Uh, this is the question of 2017, February, March, paper 22, and the question number is 6. It says that uh, three resistors of resistances R1, R2, and R3 are connected as in figure 6.1. Figure 6.1, these are the resistors. The total current in the combination of resistors is I, so this is current I. If so, then this current should also be equal to I. And the potential difference across the combination is V, so it means that this should also be equal to V, V here. So we have to show that the total resistance R of the combination is given by the equation this, 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 this. So for that, what you do is, let us say the current here is I1, let us say the current here is I2, and let's say the current here is I3. So it means that by applying Kurzweil's law, the total current I should be equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 and this I1 current should be equal to the potential difference here divided by the resistance according to Ohm's law so it should be V by R1 plus here also it is PD is V so it should by by R, R2 uh, plus again V by R3 equal to V common 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 now this V will go down here, so we'll have we'll have I by V is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Now what we have is for this whole combination, for this whole combination we have the total resistance R is equal to overall PD by this I. So which means that uh, I by V should be equal to 1 by R. So that means so this will be equal to 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So this means that the reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to the sum of reciprocals of the individual resistances in a parallel combination. Now we have a battery of EMF 6.0 volt and internal resistance small r is connected to a resistor of resistance 12 ohm and a variable resistor x like this so what you have to do is by considering energy so we have to talk with regard to energy explain why the potential difference across the battery's terminals is less than the emf of the battery so that means the pd across the terminals it could be either here or it could be either here we have to explain why this pd is less than the emf so we know that the emf of a cell cell is the uh, total work it does to to carry a unit positive charge throughout the cell now what happens is out of that work some energy is uh, energy is spent here some work is done here so that means the work available outside will definitely be less than this because some work is done here some work is done to go across here so that's why some very uh, so, some some less amount will remain here so that should be the answer to this so you can write it in your own language let me not write the la language for you now now the question now is a charge of 2.5 kilo coulomb passes through the battery so that means a certain charge of 2.5 kilo coulomb passes through the battery battery is so we need to find the total energy transformed by the battery so the energy is equal to equal to q into the emf actually energy or work equal to qv but if it is the battery it should be emf so that's equal to 2.5 kilo coulomb that is 2.5 into 10 to power 3 into the emf is a 6.0 volt and this will be equal to let me open the calculator somewhere uh, let me open the calculator in in my mobile actually so what you have is what you have is uh, 2.5 exponent 3 into 6 equal to it is 15,000. So it should be it should be it should be 15,000 joules. Thousand joules. So it is 15,000. Now the number of electrons that pass through the battery. So what you have is if the uh, if the charge is one coulomb one coulomb the number of electrons is number of electrons 
will be equal to 6.25 into 10 to the power 18. So if the charge is then uh, this much, that is uh, 2.5 into 10 to the power 3, then number of electrons equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 into 6.25 into 10 to the power 8. So that will be that will be 2.5 exponent 3 into 6.25 exponent 1 8. So it will be equal to it will be equal to 1.56 into 10 to the power 22 electrons. Now number 3. The combined resistance of the two resistors connected in parallel is 4.8 ohm. So it means that the combined resistance here is equal to is equal to 4.8 ohm. Now what the question requires is we have to find the value of this x. So that means if I go for the equation of the parallel arrangement, we will have 1 by 4.8 is equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by x. So which means 1 by x equal to 1 by 4.8 minus 1 by 12 and that becomes we can do that in the uh, calculator so 4.8 reciprocal plus 12 reciprocal equal to and it's a reciprocal will be equal to uh, so I think I missed the uh, calculations 4.8 reciprocal minus minus 12 reciprocal equal to so it is 0 0.0.125 so therefore x should be equal to 1 by 0 0.125 and that will be equal to shift this equal to simply simply 8 ohm so it is it is 8 ohm so the value of x is equal to 8 ohm here now we need to find the ratio of power dissipated in x power in x to power in uh, power in this uh, uh, 12 ohm resistor so let us uh, remember that the PD across both of them is same since they're in parallel so that's why we must have the power in X equal to power X by power 12 is equal to V square by X divided V square by 12 ohm that means 12 by X and that equal to 12 by X equal to 8 it is 1.5 so the ratio is equal to 1.5 is to 1 or simply we can write 1.5 only now the question says that question says that the resistance of x is now decreased so x is decreased explain why the power produced by the battery is increased so when x decreases the power given by the battery increases the question says so so if we decrease x if x is decreased x is decreased the overall resistance here will also decrease so r parallel which you can call as r parallel also decreases if it decreases then the current flowing through the circuit should increase so current should increase it increases now if the current increases we have the power of the cell is equal to e into i for other items power equal to vi but for the cell itself the source itself power equal to ei and e is constant so since i increases then power should also increase so power also increases so this is a sequence of events which from which we can say that the power will increase power produced by the battery will increase when the resistance ex is decreased